Documents can either be created automatically via data loaders or it can be also constructed manually. By default, all data loaders return document objects through the load underscore data function in Llama index. You can even learn more about the documents on the official website of Llama index. So if you come on this page, you will see defining and customizing documents. And these are the different ways using which you can define your documents. First of all, you have to read a document using simple directory reader. Then you can also define your own custom documents. So let's see how it works. I will import from llama index dot core import simple directory reader. This we will use to read our text file. I will write here simple directory reader and then I will make an object document then I will call this simple directory reader and inside this my first parameter is going to be input files so you see here and inside this I have will pass text file name all underscore essay underscore text you can pass any file whether it is a csv text or any other format and then I will close this and I will call this function load underscore data so this function will return documents this is important function and I will call this function here then I will simply print document and now here in the output you see this is our text file so we have some metadata in metadata we have the document id embeddings so there are no embeddings metadata here you have this file path so the file path is all essay.txt then file name this is also same file type is text or plain file size then creation date and so on so these are the information that you get in the metadata of your document what we have done now is we have read a text file and created document the next method is we can also create default text if you don't have any csv or text file you can just use some example and let's see how that works for that i will import or i'll just first write a comment here default a document i'll make one variable document one and then and before this i will import one library i will write here from llama index dot code import document and then in this document one i will call this document and from this i will call the method example this will give us an example document and then i will print this document one and let's see now here in the output you see you got a example document here and this is the document id and this is the text so the text says that contextual elements are a phenomenal piece of technology for knowledge generation and reasoning they are pre-trained on large amounts of publicly available data how do we best best augment LLMs with our own private data, we need a comprehensive toolkit to help perform this data augmentation for LLMs, proposed solutions that where Llama index comes in and then this uh, 
this is what you get here as an example document so if you or want to learn and you don't have any text file or CSV file in that case you can simply use this example document so this is one of the one of the way that you can create document and the last one is you can define a text file on the fly and you can create a document uh, let's see how that works so I'll make a variable text and in this uh, I will write or something I'll write that this is a YouTube channel stat squared you can learn about data science and more this is a text file I have written and then I want to convert this um, this is a text I have written and I want to convert this text into a document I'll make a new variable document2 and then I will call this document class inside this I will pass this text and now I will print this document2 and now let's see what we get so it says that it takes only but two are given so I have to pass text as my parameter here so this is a parameter and then I have to pass this variable text to this parameter and now let's see so we got this document here this is document ID what we got here as well this document ID and then we have this text this is a YouTube channel stats wire you can learn about data science and more so this is one of the way to create a document using a text and then let's see one more example now here what you can do uh, you can even pass information like metadata and in metadata you can pass your file name category author and so on so let's see and this will be the last example I will make a variable document 3 here and then I will call this document class inside this my and I'm going to use this same text here so I will pass text as this text and then I will pass information of metadata so I'll simply write here let's say I will write here metadata and the other information I will pass in dictionary as a key value pair my first information will be about file name so this is going to be my key and my file name is uh, let's say I will give this file name as example underscore text then the next uh, key will be category and the value will be so it is a text file so I will write here text underscore uh, file this this is a text so I'll just write it as text file and the next information will be or uh, the next key will be author name and here I will write stats wire because we are writing this example text I'll close this dictionary and then I also close this document and then I will print document 3 and let's see what we get in the output here you see we got document ID then we got text file and the new information that we got is metadata and how do we access this for that you have to call this document 3 and then dot metadata let's do that document 3 dot metadata and now let's see the information we have this information here file name is example text category is text file 
and author is Statsfire. This is how you can define your own metadata where you can give your custom information. So this is, these are the different ways using which you can create a documents in Llama Index. I hope you enjoyed this video. In the next tutorial, I will show you how to create notes out of these documents. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.